living say they are financially wrecked because of the spill. And that complaint was filed in a Los Angeles courtroom on behalf of a Santa Barbara diver and nearshore fisherman. News Channel 3 senior reporter John Palminteri joins us live from the harbor. And John, more lawsuits are on the way, aren't they? This is expected to be the first of several legal actions with regard to the ruptured pipeline that devastated the Refugio coastline. It's a 27-page complaint that was filed in a U.S. district court saying that Plains All-American Pipeline was negligent, and it says that it should be responsible for the losses faced by all of those who have lost their fishing grounds. The Florentia Marie fishing boat is docked to the Santa Barbara Harbor and owner Stace Chevarez is not around or planning a fishing trip after the destructive ruptured pipeline at Refugio Beach two weeks ago. Chevarez has been shut out from one of his favorite fishing areas for rockfish because of the oil contamination. He has taken legal action and filed a 27-page complaint against the Plains All-American Pipeline for a variety of claims. An attorney at the Keller Rohrbach legal firm says Plains has been negligent in its operation. There have been violations under the Oil Spill and Response Act, liability for ultra-hazardous activities, and violation of the Oil Pollution Act. Plains has offered anyone with a business impact complaint or a financial loss a way to make a claim with the company. That information was provided early on. The matter, however, will take this issue into a U.S. District Court in Los Angeles. It's unlikely this will be the only lawsuit filed in connection with the oil spill and the impacts on the fishing industry. We understand several other fishermen have also sought legal advice to deal with the impacts on their business since the pipeline rupture two weeks ago. The lawsuit says the fishing area off Refugio has already shown signs of oil impacts in the water. Dead bass, lobsters, crabs, octopi, and other species have washed up on those beaches. It also says the spill has closed fishing areas and led to cancellations from people coming to recreate in the area, including those who wanted to fish in these waters. It's unknown how large the class action suit will be among those who fish for a living, but already over 50 claims from the spill have been made to the pipeline company. And the Plains All-American Pipeline Company is not publicly commenting so far on the lawsuit, but there is a link to anyone who has a claim with regard to their losses, and we have posted that on our website, keyt.com. Reporting live from the Santa Barbara Harbor this evening, John Palminteri, News Channel 3. Okay, thank you, John.